Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with my Saturday morning mix and some blues in July. Saturday morning mix is hosted by Jill Norwood using the hashtag Satmore Makes and blues in July is hosted by Anna White using the hashtag blues in July. Alrighty, let's just get right into it. Let's get started. Last Sunday was National Ice Cream Day. All of a sudden now I'm into all these national days, right? <laughs> I do love a good ice cream dye. Not a lot of stamps, but more dyes. So I went into my stash, pulled out some recent ice cream themed dyes that I have. All right, so these are the products I used for my various ice cream themed cards. Great for birthdays, great for summer, great for kids cards, definitely. The two main dies are both from Trinity Stamps. And as you can see, these are like oversized dies. Perfect for kids or somebody who really loves ice cream. And, and at this size, perfect for scrapbooking and mini albums. This one is called Ice Cream Cone, five pieces. And like I said, it's from Trinity Stamps. The cone, three inches tall, two and a half wide. The scoop, perfect for slimline too. Two and a quarter by three and a quarter and you get the drippy top i love a drippy top <laughs> and a little cherry second one popsicle popsicle now is the popsicle itself you could turn this into a shaker too because here's the outer piece and then there's that inner piece you could cut this out in um foam and then yeah i didn't do it that way but maybe next time <laughs> i just realized that like wait a second i could turn this into a shaker most definitely Probably do it for next Saturday morning makes. Four and a half tall by over two and a half. That's for the outside piece. Ice cream cone die set, popsicle die set. Fabulous, fabulous, oversized fun. Then, Spellbinders Geometric Shapes. This is from their new embossing folder of the month. So I did order that and it came in. Super cute pattern. There it is. And you'll see it on my card because I did use it. And that's an oversized 2D. So it's not a 3D um, embossing folder. Then I also use Cat Scrappiness A2 frame die set from Cat Scrappiness. Super cute. Does have a nice thick, thick enough. Not too thick, not too thin frame. So you can definitely pop in your roll of foam tape. Lastly, I use Spellbinders Fluted Classic Slimline. I'm back to the slim line again. One more thing. I did go back to using Bow Bunny Doily that I hauled from scrapbook.com. It is Beautiful Things Doily. I believe this is out of stock. Put yourself to be notified if it does come back because this is the perfect mint color for all of you that love to craft in mints and pinks and then you show your projects and I'm sitting there watching it and drooling going, gosh, that pink and that mint is so good. This is that kind of mint, okay? I should have picked up two packs. <laughs> But that's 60 doilies anyway. That will last me for a while. Great for scrapbooking too. Let's start off with the popsicle. But my popsicles are more like ice cream popsicles. That's the kind that I like. I don't like the juice frozen, that thing. I like the ice cream cone type. So this one is like a chocolate. And all of the diamond dots you're seeing, this is supposed to be toffee. <laughs> it's a light brown diamond dot. Here it's like mint with vanilla. Love. Oh, I need to show you guys this too. Perfect I Sentiments was back in stock. Here is Perfect Sentiments done in brown with pink. This set, back in stock at scrapbook.com. Part of it is already sold out now too. I believe it's the stamp. This set, using the stamp and the coordinating die with pink. If you're gonna do this, go on dark card stock. Go with a pink opaque. I was using my glitter pink and it was just invisible it was driving me crazy so I, <laughs> I had to emboss this like a couple of times but isn't that cute you're a great friend with the pink and then of course coordinating dye i will put links for all of this stuff that i'm talking about anyway including the embossing folder at spellbinders so here's a popsicle fully assembled five and three quarter inch tall and the same width of two and a half i got the drip going on i got my popsicle got my sentiment the little popsicle stick love then i pulled out some of these clay resin pieces the hearts and the little sprinkles did some diamond dots this paper in the background 
This is one of those inserts when you order from scrapbook.com and they put a little insert. That's what this is. This is not cardstock. This is just a little postcard, but I like the hearts. So I use it as a background here. <laughs> and one more die again. Oh, goodness. I'm not going to go get it. Um, this one is Impression Obsession Trims. I showed you this on the last Saturday morning. I'll put the link for it. Super cute die set. Roughly six inches tall. So I ran one piece here, layered it up card ready to go you're a great friend this is on a six and a half by four and a half so you could put this in a five by seven envelope or make it five by seven but i was trying to work around that postcard that i got cute me i drop these type of things into a gift bag sometimes i don't worry about the envelope to be honest with you yeah i know <laughs> here now i did the five by seven card this is the embossing folder look at the detail isn't that cute like at first I saw it, I was like, mm, and then I was like, the embossing folder of the month kit club at Spellbinders, which you can cancel at any time, is $9. Once they put it into the store afterwards, then it becomes, I believe, 14 or something like that. It becomes more. It does have free shipping. So I looked at the examples. There is a large die with a little truck. I got it. Just haven't played with it yet. It's coming because that one is cute. But I'm coming with that one on probably next Saturday morning makes super duper cute with this embossing folder. So very much summer, fun, kids party, thank you cards. If somebody came to your party and you want to make thank you cards here, I did chocolate, pink glitter drip, of course, or um, pink fudge, toffee, <laughs> like my little toffee. I don't know what it is here. Now you see the doily and the mint. So here I'm going with the pink and the mint. This is some little Pink hearts from my stash. I believe I got that from Allie. And here is also, you're the coolest. Pop this up. I popped up this one too, but I you think I popped this one up a little bit higher. So here is a five by seven. Here is a almost five by seven. Two cards ready to go. And notice that both of them could be for birthday or thank you. Yes, I purposely made it that way so I can either go one way or the other. You're the coolest and on the inside stamp, thank you. Or you're a great friend on, on the inside stamp happy birthday mm-hmm I'm thinking I'm thinking all right next up here I wasn't thinking this now is the ice cream cone here I did use perfect sentiments from pink for studio happy birthday when you run this every time you run it you're getting a whole bunch of sentiments so I have a whole bunch of these sentiments in the brown in the background with the pink on top so I used you're a great friend here now I'm using happy birthday. That's why I think this always sells out is because it's just, you do it one time, you have a bunch of sentiments, ready to go. Now I have it in this colorway, as opposed to, I have it in a hot foil and all that, but I wanted this to be more fun and playful. That's why I went with the pink in there and kept on bringing back. If you notice it, it's like blue, teal, the pinks, and playing with that. That's the colorway. Every card kind of went more that way. The last one is not in the pinks, but still fits in with this theme. So here's the ice cream cone. I did a double scoop, double scoop, five and a half. So if you did the single scoop, completely assembled, roughly four and a quarter, the height. It's just the scoop is back here. And this time I did fudge on the top. And of course I pulled out my favorite, glossy accents, put glossy accents on it. And then drop the little embellishments. I will put a link for the video where I showed you guys how to do um, glossy accents on something like this. To give that fudgy goodness and how easy it is to just lightly dab all these goodness. And they're not moving because glossy accents is glue. <laughs> and it's a super holding one too. So all of this is just, you'd have to be prying it off. But it just gives you a, that nice 3D look. You see it? So in person, the card has shine, it has fun, and pop. Here it is being housed by the fluted classic slimline. I did vanilla, strawberry, toffee, sprinkles, just some cardstock from my stash. Here I use the other from that same Impression Obsession trims. There's a loop, and then there's that, oh, I can't remember what this is called. Rick Rack, I think it is. This is ink blended. If it's not white Bristol cardstock, then it is almond cream. I think it is white though, with Distress Ink tea dye to give me the ice cream cone. So this kind of goes back into this peachy, which goes into the paper, then the ice cream. 
happy birthday. That card is ready to go. Last card. This now is using that frame from Cat Scrappiness, which is just so fabulous. Love it. You can do a double frame here. See how you get the outer piece, which is a true A2. So that's five and a half, four and a quarter. I have the ice cream, different colorway. I like the tea dye. I think this, actually, I think this one is almond cream and this one is the Bristol in white. So you can see the difference once you use the same ink when you start off with a kind of a beige color base or when you go with white. I kind of like this one better. This one looks more like a real cone to me. This one, a little bit darker. I may change the treat yourself. I may change it to a different color. Oh, I forgot to bring you guys this. This is a dye from my stash. I think it's Creative Expressions. I'll put a link for it below if they still have it in store. I bought it a while back, so I'm not sure if they carry this set. It's an ice cream set too. Here are the loops framing the inside of this. This is perfect for easy shakers. You just cut the frame, you just cut a piece of acetate, and you're on the way to creating your shaker card. That's the great thing about this set. A2 frames, okay? And here I'm using it with, in the background, under the vellum, that's the alcohol ink. Remember I did all that alcohol ink technique on like maybe two, three videos back? Wanted to tone it down, so I just put a piece of vellum on top. Instead of going the shaker route, I did it here with, you can see it in person, you can definitely see it. Cute. And then I put the loopy, treat yourself. This I can change to a different color. I'm thinking of maybe like a vanilla glitter cardstock. I might do that, change it, treat yourself and brighten it up. If I do change it, I'll show you. But it's all on a 110 pound cardstock base, layered up a few times. It was like a mint toffee crunch chocolate card with some turquoise. <laughs> I love it, treat yourself. So these are my Saturday morning makes. Hope you like all my ice cream goodness. I still have another card to make because I did make a popsicle. I have one popsicle ready to go, 110 pound cardstock base. And this one I did that rose gold type base, which I kind of like, see? Look at that, right there. Look how nice that looks with the same, this is not paper, I wish it was, because I like the colors. It's like rainbow, but not rainbow, but look how that looks nice right there. And then put a sentiment and ready to go again. Happy birthday. I wouldn't use the pink though. I would go maybe one of my black and white ones that are ready to go. Happy birthday. Mm-hmm. Let's see. That works there too. You see how this one popsicle made like four or five cards? <laughs> I scream too. And I could have gone three scoops, make it taller, fill up this space. But I wanted to enjoy some of that paper. Alrighty, crafters, that's my Saturday morning mix. I just wanted to hop in to show you that I am late to National Ice Cream Day, but it's still summer. And I do have some cards ready to go for friends and family. And this, I love this. I've never done it in the pink with the brown, but I'm really liking this. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.